moving back this way as I transition to get that shaft kind of perpendicular to my spine here where it's 90 degrees. Now, it gives me a lot of time. I've got all day to turn and hit that golf ball. Let's talk about shallowing the golf club made simple. I like it. It's not really that simple of a topic, but it's not that complicated, right Ed? Depending upon certain variables, yeah, certainly. Yeah, so let's just walk through what shallowing the shaft out is. Well, most people, I mean, look, on the spectrum, we would love to be relatively on plane in the backswing. Yes. We certainly don't like to be under the plane because it's harder than to shallow it. So under the plane would... Would be, yes, where you're still in right bend, you're not in left bend, like the club this. is so far behind you, 99 times out of 100, the person wants to do this. Whereas, and we're not saying that it has to be off the chart spectrum steep to shallow either. No. You know, there's a spectrum within there, within reason. But definitely the, pre the preference would be to have it go from more steep. A smidge above the plane. Yes. Then under it, so that in transition, when we shift the, the center. The torques get, get put on it. When we shift the center of mass of this club, yeah. and the shaft is about a 90 degree to your spine angle, will promote you to rotate as hard as you want to and kick the energy out to the ball with a flatter spot at yeah. the bottom. So let's just expand on that a little. So if I swing this back here and I've got the shaft a little bit more vertical than the swing plane, the torques that are applied when I begin to unwind naturally make that shaft want to do that. As long as you don't pull the handle down? Yeah, as yes. Lo as long as I'm not putting an energy into it this way, see, that makes the club want to go that way. Right. But if, if I'm putting a rotational energy into it, so my hands are connected like this, and I'm putting this rotational energy into it, the club wants to go that way. It does. And it's funny because I find most students, when I have them do left hand only because it's their non-dominant hand, they have a hard time having this thing behind them here because it's heavy and they want to do this. Yeah. But almost every single person that makes it relatively vertical, when I say turn now, the club does this every single time. Oh yeah. And that's when the light bulb starts to come on. Yes. So now we understand that the torques that are put into that will make the club shallow as long as the, the geometry is lined up how we want it in the backswing. Now, why would this make it harder? So if I've got the club, the mass already more behind me, what happens? Well, if I took your right hand away, exactly in this example, that's heavy and you don't like it. Yeah, exactly. On your shoulder, you don't like it. Well, and the other thing is, the torque that's applied is going kind of toward the golf ball. Well, you can see that the center of mass is more laid off than that. And it so it wants to make the club kick this way and exactly. tumble. Exactly, exactly. And that tumbling golf club becomes kind of unstable. It becomes very sharp at the bottom, almost like a V instead of a U. And two, uh, you have no face and path to match. So you're yeah. timing, jumping, trying to square this thing as fast as you can in a millisecond. It's not going to work. That's tough. Often. Won't work. <laughs> it's tough. The only people I see it work for are players with really short backswings. Yes. If you have a short backswing, you can probably get away with having the club a little laid off. And if you have a really long, big turn, you could probably get away with it having it a little more across the line. For most of us, let's try to be kind of neutral-ish. So yeah. somewhere, if I swing to the top and I draw a line out of the grip, somewhere between my toe line and that ball line. Perfect. Would be kind of neutral. Yeah, well somewhere in a reasonable spectrum yeah. to make it easier to okay. shallow and turn. So now we understand kind of what is creating the shallowing. Why is it advantageous to get that shaft kind of perpendicular to my spine here where it's 90 degrees? Well, because <laughs> the fastest way to two points is a straight line. And at this point, now that this thing is bisecting your spine, the center mass is behind you, promoting you to rotate as, as much as you want. Now the energy is being let out later instead of earlier. And two, you have a longer flat spot, more stability within the face. Yeah, so the farther that this gets away from, it's not moving out toward the ball, if it's moving back this way as I transition, now it gives me a lot of time. I've got all day to turn and hit that golf ball. 100%. It also makes it really easy for me to have a reasonable path. So now turning doesn't make me wipe across the ball. Where if the, if the mass is going this way, 
and I'm turning, I'm going to cut across that golf ball. Yeah, no, when you're shallow, you definitely have a more of an inside path, no doubt about yeah. that. Which also, it, it gives you permission to rotate without throwing things out of whack. Yeah. Cool. It's interesting, you watch every good baseball player, there's a reason that almost all of them start relatively vertical. Yes. So, right? typical hitter, the barrel of the bat is, you don't see many guys start with the barrel in the plane that they're going to swing it in, like this. You see the barrel go, almost always, as they're loading, mm -hmm. the barrel tips up this way. So when they stride and land, the barrel can go boom. And become 90 degrees to your spine angle. Exactly. Then they can be very rotary and sling that thing. That's right. Awesome. Well, let's see if I can do one. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh, first swing of the day. First swing of the day. We're gonna go slow. <laughs> I don't wanna <laughs> go to the hospital. <laughs> Good. I did okay. First thing in the morning. I'll bet we see a little bit of that shaft shower. I would imagine we do if I okay. know you. <laughs> okay, so hope you guys have liked this video. Please like and subscribe our channel as we put out content every week. And come visit us at MiloLionsGolf.com where we can coach you one-on-one -on -one to swing like an athlete.